Well, the election is just around the corner now, and Minnesota candidates are doing what they can to garner up votes. So that includes having a fish fry. Our newest reporter, Haiti Clotter, has more on this story. Than 100 people packed the Arboretum at a benefit for Congressman Rick Nolan. This was one of the final events before November's election. I think Minnesotans, people of the Brainerd Lakes area, they're passionate about their candidates, they're passionate about people representing them. While I was on the menu as guests like Deb Halstead attended the event, she says her heart and soul are with the Democratic Party. And I think that he has no other reason to do this other than he wants to work for the people of Minnesota. Former Representative John Ward says the turnout was higher than expected and speaks volumes on the community support for Congressman Nolan. And this says something about Congressman Nolan. This says, Congressman Nolan, thank you for what you've done. We appreciate you, we need you, and we want Rick back. What really wins elections is people. People talking to their neighbors, talking to their fellow workers, uh, people talking to people. And everybody here is committed to going out and uh, door knocking and talking to their friends, their family, their neighbors. And that's what's going to make the difference in this election contest. Vice President Walter Mondale was on hand to honor Art Nystrom, who served the country 70 years ago. Nystrom received the Knight of the Legion of Honor Medal. The medal is awarded to soldiers who did much for France and Western Europe. You think of the guys that you were with, most of them are gone now. I'm the only one left in Brainerd that done what I did fine. The rest of them are all gone. In Brainerd, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Congressman Nolan made several stops around the Brainerd Lakes area, including a special visit to Central Lakes College earlier that day. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.